Talk about a team, like you said, second worst record in baseball right now, eight and 19. They've lost 12 of their last 14. Thank God the Reds are at five and 23. Second least run scored on the season at 78. The Royals are actually worse with 76, but the Tigers have the worst offense per game at under three runs per game. The Royals are just over three runs. They rank 25th in offense. They are last in home runs. They're last in power percentage. They're just on base, slugging, everything. They're 27th, and that is just, it's just bad. And no one's anywhere near, the clo- closest to 300 is Austin Meadows, who's been, you know, sick for a little bit, and he's at 280-something. And other than that, you're looking at Grossman at 260-something, and then everyone else is 250 or below. It's just an embarrassment of bad hitting, impatient plate performances, and just not clicking whatsoever. Because like mm. you said, our pitching staff, our bullpen, like we're not giving up a ton of runs. If you look at another, we're the, I think we're second best in the central when it comes to runs allowed, but we cannot score to save our lives. No, and you no know, losing Javi Baez for the, the middle stretch of these 27 games definitely hurts those power numbers. And it's, it's just, it's brutal. I keep going back to the word brutal when we talk about the Tigers' offensive performance. But here I go with that eternal optimism. I don't think it's going to stay like this all season. It can't stay like this all season. Okay. What's going to happen is you're probably going to see, you're probably going to see that top 10 team ERA fall down a little bit, and you're going to see that bottom rung batting statistics and offensive statistics move and level out right like water always finds the level and you have to imagine that an entire team of mlb players is not going to slump for the entire season Mm -hmm. and how much did having a shortened spring training hurt the timing of the hitters Uh, there's some there's something to be said about that for the early part of the season now this continues i mean we're 27 games into the season i get all of that the timing should be worked out, but you've had injuries, you've had days off, and guys that you thought were going to perform, Jonathan Scope, Jamer Candelario, all of those guys are struggling. Torkelson has been good for a rookie to start a season, but he's still hitting under 200 and striking out too much. I don't expect that all season long. I think that this is still going to be an exciting team come August, probably too far outside of contention at this point because every game even those are there's a lot of them they count but i don't know i just i'm excited that baseball is happening and there still can be a buzz about this team if like you said the plate discipline and the timely hitting start to happen a little bit more for crying out loud they scored 13 runs the day miggy one game gets his 3000th <laughs> hit and then it seems like they can't score any runs after that So I can't go, I can't blame the shortened spring training when everyone had the same shortened spring training and not everyone's struggling like the Tigers. Now, yes, there are better lineups, obviously, than Detroit. But if you look at similar lineups, they're all doing better than Detroit, aside from the